We are in my cabinet today. Get ready to get rid of all of this stuff up top and take it on its merry way. I'm just tired of looking at clutter, so this is part of my declutter series. Y'all gonna do it with me today. I think I'm gonna sit y'all somewhere here and we just talk a little bit, okay? Y'all like that? But y'all not gonna believe the date on this creamer. Try to guess. Try to guess. I bought this probably in 2015, honestly. 2016, oh my goodness, this has to go. Okay, I just broke that. These cups came from the thrift store that I'm getting ready to donate to again. I had a tea party for, oh, don't break another one. Lord, I'm about to break another one. Hold on a minute. I'll see y'all when I take everything out of here. I already went through that cabinet. That one's done and here. I just need to take this stuff out. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm getting ready to box all of this up. This will be all of my cups I'm donating. Um, gifts. You know, stuff the girls had when they were little. I mean, these were gifts, like soccer moms gifts and here's an old random birthday mug gift. And the only one I think I'm keeping out of this, like all of these glasses, I have not touched seriously probably since I put them in the cabinet uh, 20 years ago. See how dirty these are. But I did find this mug. Y'all, this was my mug from work. Wow. I think I am going to keep this. Yeah. I'm going to wash it up and keep that. I forgot it was actually back there when we moved into our new facility back in the day when i used to work um they gave everybody a mug so i think i'll keep that i'm gonna wash that up and this was purchased for a tea party for mirabella's fifth birthday <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get rid of those i broke one of the little uh cups just a minute ago and I think they threw these in or it was just all part of a set. So I'm going to donate all of this again to the organization that I got this from. So yeah, another declutter video. All of this is getting rid of. I was going to start on another cabinet, but I'm just going to do cabinet by cabinet. Okay, I just took two bags. It is pouring raining and I'm taking these last three bags. We are getting rid of stuff today, even in the rain. Okay, um, this is the reason why you should be careful when you are cleaning out. Y'all, I'm actually taking stuff out. I'm being very careful because y'all know I have a shoe-free house. One of my biggest fears is glass. Glass, when it shatters, gets everywhere. Oh, I am so upset right now. I really am. But this is just more motivation for me to get this stuff out of my house. This was a... Oh punch bowl with punch glasses and I'm taking it out of my office which is oh my goodness y'all I'm just so mad right now because it takes forever to get glass up my only saving grace is that I don't have little bitty children but I do have a niece that comes over here and plays sometime and I'm telling y'all as you can see over there I'll come on the other side I'm trying not to get nothing in my foot because it goes so far the point of falling was right there, but look all the way over here. All the way over here, guys. It shatters and gets way over here. Okay, look how far that is from here. Look at that compared to where it dropped. So I've got to, first of all, I gotta put on some shoes I don't care about and get this up and be real careful that I don't have any on my socks now. Let me show y'all the point of it falling. It fell in here. Look at that. I sat the punch bowl here because all of that was going to be donated. And it toppled over and that's the result. So what I'm going to do now is sweep this up. Then after I sweep it up, I'll probably uh, use the broom for the garage. Because once I use a broom to sweep up glass, I never bring it back in the house. So I'm going to need to go get another broom after I do this. But I cannot believe this, y'all. I cannot believe this. All right, let me figure out what shoes I'm gonna put on to get this up. 
<sighs> yeah. This just seals it for me. This just seals it for me. I was trying to be nice and donate stuff like this. This is, a, this is when I feel like really just putting stuff in a box and sitting it out front and tell somebody to come and get it. And after people don't come and get it, guess what? The trash man comes and gets it. Wow. I mean, everything broke, guys. Wow. Wow. To show you guys, I went out and got my gloves from out of the car. These are really pretty. I don't think glass got on this. So I'm going to put this over here. Oh, yes, it did. Look. Look at that. See how careful you have to be with glass? Look at that. Look at that. No, that's plastic. Oh, I was about to say. Wow. Because I was about to throw this away. These are beautiful. I use them for the holidays, but... I was about to throw that stuff away. Oh, I had a stack of stuff I was about to donate and put, you know, start kind of organizing my glass items and throw out the stuff that I really don't use. And I just sat that punch bowl in this and it just toppled over. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I hate broken glass. Wow, I hate it. Okay, let me get this up. Let me start getting this up. Okay, I'm not going to drag all of this. I guess I'll get the big pieces up first. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute or maybe in an hour. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I got everything up. I've been over the floor about five or six times with my Swiffers. I'm going to pick up another trash can. I just threw my other trash can away. I uh, threw my broom away. Uh, I don't play with glass, y'all. I do not play with glass. Matter of fact, and I'm not even dealing with this, honestly. This was my, my stuff I was getting ready to put away. I use it for the holidays, this glass stuff, but I don't even want this, honestly. And I don't feel like taking it to um, a thrift store or anything. This stuff is going to get out of here. I'm just too done. I don't know if glass got on this. I don't feel like it. So what I'm going to do is take this and get rid of it. So that's my decluttering today. A very frustrated day of decluttering. And now I need to go pick up another broom. Um, another Swiffer. Scratch the floor right there. And I need to make sure my shoes are cleaned off because glass, I mean, it just gets everywhere. I can come back in here you know, use my dry Swiffer and still pick up glass. Oh, I have to pick up Mirabella some house shoes also. Um, because when she walks around tonight, whatever shoes she's in, um, I'm going to probably throw them away. Yeah, that's the way I am. Okay. All right, guys. So this is another day of decluttering with the Frugal Nista. A very frustrating day. Yep. I need to go pick up some more of these. Oh, hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista with a quick Walmart run. We are set up in a little bit different place because I had a mishap with glass in my kitchen and I'm not sure if it's all up or not. So I have to make a quick run to Walmart in order to finish the uh, glass debacle. I needed more Swiffers, really. And because I go crazy when I break glass, I... Threw away my last trash can. I did because, y'all, it was a lot of glass, a lot of glass. So we're just going to start the haul real quick. A couple of items, again, are because of the debacle. Uh, let's start with over here, the broom. Yeah, I got rid of our other broom. Yep, so I picked up a broom and a dustpan. Okay, needed that because when you, you know, get up glass, glass will always forever be in that dustpan and the broom. I just chucked it and called it a day, okay? I also picked up some of the Nestle Pure Life Water. 32 bottles of those. It's weekend. We are having company over the weekend. And I picked up a couple of sodas. I picked up the Sunkiss, some root beer, a Coke, and of course some ginger ale. Having pizza and, you know, you cannot have pizza unless you have a soda. At least I can't. I picked up a big container of Clorox bleach. 
I ran out of my Swiffers, so to hold me until I go into my big box stores, you know, I just picked this one up. I also needed some tall kitchen bags. I picked the great value kind. I'm crazy when it comes to glass, so I chucked my old trash can because there was no trash bag in it because the other one split, and yeah, I just got rid of that trash can. Let's see if we can touch it and see if it'll work. Here we go. There you go. Touch lid from Hefty. Y'all, these cute little pillows were a dollar a piece. Look how pretty that is. I picked this up because they were a dollar a piece. Look how cute they are. Little poof pillows. That one matches uh, Mirabella's room. They only had one of the teal and they had two of the pink. So I picked those up for a dollar a piece. That was on clearance. My Walmart had a lot of stuff on clearance, including house shoes. Another item. I'm not sure if Marabella has house shoes, but again, we are a shoe-free home. Until I know I've gotten all that glass stuff, I want to make sure I have something to protect our feet. Y'all, these little guys were on clearance for five bucks. I picked up a pair from me. I picked up a pair from Marabella. And because, you know, I said, why not? I picked up some for um, Magnolia. Yeah, those are so cute. Little pink unicorn. Then I picked up some plates for pizza night. I picked up two of these little pecan pies. I picked up some cheese curls, my uh, Southern Sweet Tea from Lipton. I use this in my K-cup, y'all, with uh, half of a lemon. So good. So I'm probably going to have myself a cup of that to calm or rest my nerves. I'm so frazzled since that glass incident. I also picked up the Lucky Charms. This is a special edition, family size. I picked up some M&M's for movie night, some fruit snacks for movie night. I also picked up some Snapple. This is a Snapple apple. And I also picked up a Kiwi strawberry Snapple, uh, a bag of Doritos, and just a bag of uh, regular Lay's for movie night. Y'all check out your Walmart. They had a whole bunch of clearance, a lot of stuff on clearance in the middle of the store. And I know this is a good buy. These are only a dollar a piece, right? So cute. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.